I'm routing 16 gauge speaker wire to upgrade my speaker system in my truck. Uh, this is a 2010 um, 1500 crew cab. And you can see in the driver's side here, I have pulled back the, um, uh, the grommet from the wiring harness. Now, if you look really close, um, what I've done is I've notched in the plastic on the top, not the grommet, but the actual plastic where these two connectors go into. I've notched in the, the top a spot where this, the flat 16 gauge wire can fit into, and then I fished it through um, this tube here. I've looked on YouTube. I couldn't find anything. I fished it through it. here, and then I'm going to route it right through here, uh, and it's going to be uh, be factory. Pull back the uh, the weather stripping uh, to get access to this, and uh, it's just two. Uh, looks like uh, Torx 15 um, that you need to put back here. And I've got my angled dealio here. And should be good to go. Put the weather stripping back on, hook up the speaker, and boom. Now I'm moving All over right. to the passenger side and starting from scratch. I'm using a T20 Torx to remove the two screws from the door's um, boot. And then I will remove the, uh, the plastic uh, boot on the, uh, on the cab side. Once those two screws are removed, then you can just pull um, the... Uh, the connection out and you can see uh, it's pretty tight in there but uh, I'll show you how we get it done unlike the driver's side the uh, wiring harness boot that attaches to the cab at least on this SLT is only using one plug I don't need to notch anything um, you can't really yeah you can that hole right in there is exactly where I'm going to fish this through this one's a hell of a lot easier than the driver's yeah, side you pull away this um, electric tape on this and then uh, just pop these little clips here and it might be a little difficult to do with one hand. But anyway, you can see it, it, uh, it frees it up and you can see the wire inside the, the housing here um, and you can fish your 16, I'm using 16 gauge, but you can fish your 16 gauge through here uh, no problem. Okay, so through here um, I went ahead and, and fished this uh, wire worm, just some rigid plastic on the end it's uh, rounded so not to rip anything and if you've not done this before it's pretty sh pretty easy I was gonna say straightforward if you guys watch my other videos you can count how many times this is straightforward so I'm trying not to say it now anyway um, electric tape the back end of your wire sorry uh, yeah uh, to this and then just pull it through uh, this side so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go take this and I'm gonna stick it right through here and I'm gonna come out uh, up in here. Okay, somewhere. I found a spot. Uh, I'll show it to you. Uh, let's see if I can keep the orientation here. So I'm looking straight at the floorboard now, turning up where the antenna is and everything. And uh, let's see, sorry for the bouncing. And there's the wire right there. Or the wire worm. All right, so you pull from there and I guess you can figure it out. It looks like the back could actually prove to be more challenging. Um, you see the boot right here, uh, two screws, it looks like Torx 20, no problem there and very similar to the front to pull this boot off, but this boot's a lot smaller. And then coming around this other side here, uh, inside after removing the bottom B pillar, see if I can get a shot of it. Yeah, right there. Not a lot of room to run a 16 gauge uh, cable. So let's see what I can come up with. Okay. I took um, the boot apart and you can see that there's there's room, at least from the door, going back to the jam uh, for a 16 gauge wire. There's no way I would even attempt anything like 14 or I think 16 is going to be it. It just so happens that's the only wire I have anyway. And then on this side, um, I, I'm going to figure it out. But before I do, I want to get a video of it so you can see uh, how far I've gotten here. So this is the other side of this right here. 
Oh, sorry for the bouncing around. Let's see if I can get that right. Yeah, that's this right here. So that's the outside. All right. Okay, lucked out big time. Um, I pulled the plug and um, I guess it's kind of hard to see, but if I pull this jacket off, maybe you can see uh, between where my thumb is and the green, uh, between the green and the white there is a channel. And I believe, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Let's see if I can find the end of my 16 gauge wire. Sorry for the bouncing around here. Let me put you down just for a second. Sweet. So, all right. So that's what we're looking at. It works perfectly. Uh, all right. On to the next phase. A lot of uh, lithium grease on the uh, the wire worm here. This was a tight fit. Getting it in here, you got to be really careful not to nick any of these wires uh, where you're going to have a heck of a lot more problem on your hand. I understand this entire harness is pretty expensive anyway. I've seen people cut into it and splice it. Um, I don't want to have to go that distance. Um, anyway, here's pulling it out through and uh, I'll come back and just... Okay, the hard part here is done. I ran it through the boot both sides and before I seal it back up you can see and there's a little of a no problem there, a white uh, lithium grease. but. Um, there you go. And it won't interfere uh, when I lock it in place. So, um, yeah, worked out pretty well. All right, it actually came out a lot better than I thought. Very clean, uh, no problem whatsoever, no, no grab. Make sure though, when you put the rubber, this rubber boot on that I'm touching with my thumb, you hear it click all the way around. It's got a, a little bit of a lip on it. Um, this is what prevents water from seeping down and going inside, so make sure that's good to go. On the inside, um, all I did was uh, just wire it all the way down to the floor uh, behind the, uh, the seat belt uh, um, uh, mechanism. Okay, so here I've got the, the wire uh, routed inside the, the boot. It's got some plastic clips, make sure they're there. Um, just duct tape this up and then you know, reattach it with the two screws. Uh, clean up the weather stripping and you are back in business.